Keep an interval of 20 feet. All except you, Temple. You stay with Mr. Brisson. Right side. Brisson, oui. I stay with Temple. Oui, monsieur. With a single file, I'll go first. Just stay in my footsteps. That road may be mine. You got it? Yeah, that looks really dangerous up there, Sarge. Nuns? Oh, des sœurs d'un couvent près d'ici. Elles sont des religieuses quatrées. He says there are nuns from a convent nearby. They're cloistered nuns. What's that mean? Well, it means they don't talk, Temple. They just work and pray all the time. Well, somebody tell him there's a war going on, huh? Knock it off, Kirby. Our job is to get him back the quicker the better. All right, you got your orders. Let's move out. Remember, right in my footsteps, at 20 feet. Shrapnel on his back. I can't tell how deep it is or how bad it is. What about Temple? He needs a miracle, Sarge. Look, I can't work on him here. Where can we take him? We'll follow those nuns. The Frenchman said they came from a convent. Maybe we can get some help there. Et ensuite passa des années en Acarvin, dont il fut le troisième embergé, et où il eut pour disciple son vivant et son malheur, fils 
du conjoint et de la longue dervelle. Comme il avait pour ce dernier uh, une affection particulière à cause de la supériorité de son mérite et de ses Excuses for coming in like this, but we have some wounded men here and we have some wounded men, we have to take care of them, we haven't got a place. Cage. Let's come in French, will you? Yeah. Vous priez d'excuser l'imposition, mais nous avons deux hommes qui sont gravement blessés et nous avons besoin immédiatement d'aide. Est-ce que vous comprenez? And as it looked, Doc, I don't think Temple has a chance. What about the Frenchman? He has a chance, that's about all. All right, we're up the stretch and carry him back. I'm going to leave you here with Temple. You can't move him, Sarge. What do you mean? The shrapnel in his back is in deep. He can't be moved. We have to move him. S2 needs him. Dead or alive. Look, his pulse is weak. He's hanging on by his fingertips. Well, can't you give him something? I can't even give him morphine. He's unconscious. All I can give him is a, some bandages and sulfur powder. All right, Doc. Now, what about that fragment? Can you dig it out? The fragment isn't close to his spine. If I take a chance and try to operate, I'm liable to kill him. Look, Sarge, I'm, a, I'm an aid man. I'm not a surgeon. What this man needs is a doctor. Could be. Go. Radio. Checkmate King 2, checkmate King 2, this is White Knight, this is White Knight, over. This is Checkmate King 2, over. This is White Knight, let me speak to the Lieutenant, over. Lieutenant Hanley, Sergeant Saunders. Checkmate King 2, Hanley, did you find Monsieur Bresson? Over. This is White Knight, Roger, we have him with us, but he's wounded, we can't move him any further. If we do, we'll kill him. He needs surgery, you have to get a doctor in here right away, over. Checkmate King 2, give me your position, over. Write this down. This is White Knight. We're in a convent about two miles southwest of our initial objective. One nine two four three six one six. Over. Checkmate King two. One nine two four three six one six. Roger. Give us an hour. Out. Down. Little John. We got a patrol. <laughs> Merci, ma mère. What did she say? She just said she'll pray for us. Look, ask her if she's got any wine. You know, sometimes these places make up a few bottles. Will you tell her that we have to stay here until the, the doctor comes? Ma mère, nous serons très reconnaissants si nous pouvions rester ici jusqu'à temps que le médecin vienne prendre soin de nos blessés. Vous êtes les bienvenus. Autant que vous ne nous pas dérangez avec nos devoirs, et surtout si vous ne porterez pas votre guerre dans cette maison de Dieu. Merci, ma mère. She just said that we can stay here as long as we don't interfere with their duties. And as long as we don't bring our war into this house. Doc. I'm, I'm, I'm right here, buddy. Doc, is there something on my chest? It's hard to breathe. Just relax, you're gonna be okay. You hear me? You're gonna be okay. business pulling hooks of steel out of people. We didn't have much practice that before the war. Ouch. It's a lot different than treating blisters. <laughs> well, your first aid man did right in not moving him, especially if it's near the spine. How old is this Frenchman? I don't know. He's been a surveyor around here for 35 years. I guess he's 55 or 60. Well, that's too bad. It's a lot easier on younger men. It's all a matter of tissue, you know. The older you are, the longer it takes to rebuild. Doctor, you've got to save this man. S2 just doesn't want him. They need him. We'll do the best we can, Lieutenant. 
Oh, Liz S2 doesn't understand about human tissue. Well, S2 understands that whatever information we can get from this man may save a lot of lives. Well, that's another thing, Lieutenant. S2 or GHQ or what have you can be concerned about saving lots of lives. I've got to be concerned about one at a time. One at a time. Okay. Well, I'm all ready. Let's go. Where's your helmet, Doc? Oh. There's a pleasant way to spend the afternoon. What's she doing, taking a walk with an old friend? Kirby, they meditate over those skulls. And this way they get used to the idea of death. I don't need that kind of reminder. Got all the Frenchman's papers, Sergeant? Yeah, but they're no good to us unless he stays alive. Use these marathons, that's all. How long we've been gone? An hour and ten minutes. Well, the sooner we get there, the better chance you'll have. It's mathematical. Anything you say, Doctor. Je parle français, ma soeur. Voici la soeur Marie Sébastien. Avant de joindre notre ordre, elle était une infirmière. Elle a été relevée de ses devoirs. Elle va vous assister si elle peut. Elle comprend l'anglais, mais elle n'est pas permis de briser ses vœux de silence. She just said that this is a sister Mary Sebastian, and she was a nurse, and that she understands English, and they'll let her help us. Well, we got a nurse over there. Well, we need a doctor. Sister, thank you. We appreciate it. She won't answer you, Sergeant. They've all taken the vow of silence. Only Mother Superior is allowed to talk. Doc, is there anything that she could do right now? No, not until the doctor gets here. I tell you, Sarge, it's downright spooky. Gage, get Kirby out of here. Set up outside, keep an eye out for the lieutenant and the doctor. All right, Sarge. John! Doctor's next! Okay, Doc, go! Talk about timing. 
That's exactly why S2 wants to talk to the old Frenchman. He's a surveyor. He'll know every route tanks can take. How many tanks are they? I don't know. You stay here and count them. My men can't cross the road till they've passed. How far are we from the convent? I figure about half a mile. You go up to that clearing ahead and wait for us. If you hear any firing, try to make it to the convent by yourself. But be careful, that open area is mine. You take my carbine. Oh, no thanks. I got enough to carry right here. I'll be all right. Take it easy, doctor. Stay undercover. John! Crown! Where's the captain? I sent him on a ways. How many did you count? Ten, sir. That's what I got. All right, we got about half a mile. Let's go. No. Must have been a heart attack. Heart attack. I almost forgotten there were natural ways to die. Oh, hey, Sarge. Stay here. Doc, get him ready. You made good time, Lieutenant. How is it, Tempo? Did you bring my mail? Gainsborough said that that there was a, a letter for me. Where's the doctor, Lieutenant? Where is he, Lieutenant? He's at the edge of the clearing, waiting for a burial detail. He had a heart attack. A heart attack? Little John, get company on the radio. Tell him what happened. Report about the tanks. I want instructions. Yes, sir. Thanks, huh? How many of you guys spot coming over? Yeah. Uh, we, we, we. Cage. Emmenez-moi pour voir un officier de l'intelligence. J'ai des informations très, très importantes. He says we have to take him to an intelligence officer right away. He's got some very important information for us. Oh, oui. Any change? We need a doctor, sir. Lieutenant. Maybe we could pick up a French doctor. Where? What about the village of Laurent where we picked Bresson up? We passed a whole unit of German armor moving in that direction. The town's probably full of Nazis by now. Well, what else can we do? I don't know. Lieutenant, no dice. We're on our own. What do they say? They had to evacuate the aid station. Maybe a couple of days before they can get a doctor up here. Unless they want to ship one in on a German tank. Lieutenant, you want to try for a French doctor? Hey, see if you can talk to the Frenchman. Find out if there's a doctor in Laurent. He's out, sir. He doesn't even know his own name. Well, why don't you ask the mother, uh, what, what do you call it? She might know. Who? The mother superior. She's the only one who can talk around here. Where is she? Cage. Come on, let's find her. This way, Lieutenant. Pardon, mes sœurs. Est-ce que je pourrais parler à mes supérieurs? 
Mère supérieure, savez-vous s'il y a un médecin à Léron? Il y en avait un deux années passées, mais je ne sais pas s'il est encore là-bas. She says there was one two years ago, but she doesn't know if he's still there. Uh, thank you, uh, merci. You were in that town before. Do you think you can sneak back? I think I can when it's dark. Well, it's about an hour from now. Do you want to try? Have we got any choice? How many men do you want? Just one. I'll need Cage. Saunders, you got yourself a job. Good luck. Luck? The Frenchman and Temple. They'll need the luck. Here is Pep's lieutenant. Stopping and just moving through. I don't know, but we have a good time to find out. You know, now we're going to find out about this doctor if there is one. Yes, yeah, someone. Are you kidding? What, you got a better idea? You speak French, we'll ask a Frenchman. Yeah, but how do we know he won't turn us into the German? We don't. But it's a better gamble than asking a German. Il faut essayer de dire, I'll break his neck. On va te laisser parler. T'as compris? Tu réponds qu'à mes questions. Si t'as le meilleur de crier, je te zigoue, t'as compris? All right, now you ask him. Où c'est qu'on peut trouver un docteur? J'en sais pas, c'est encore là. Si on peut le trouver, où c'est qu'il est? Il y a un petit hôpital au but de la ville. Il sait pas qu'il soit là. Il dit qu'il y a un petit hôpital à Diana Town. Mais il ne sait pas le docteur. Tell him to lead us there. Tu peux nous guider à l'hôpital? Oh, oui, oui, je suis patron. Yeah, he will. I guess we can trust him. We'll have to. All right. If he says anything, we'll hunt him down and kill him. Five more persons de ça, t'as compris? Sinon? Oui? Ne vous en faites pas. Je suis patriote. Ok. Allez, marche! Was machen Sie denn hier? German. 
Do you speak any English or French? I speak English quite well. Well, don't make a fuss. We made a little mistake. That's obvious. Are you a doctor? Yes, I am. What do we do with him now? We take him with us. Are you kidding? He's a German! He's a doctor. Now, you listen to me. There's a Frenchman. He's wounded. He has a mind fragment in his back. We want you to operate. Where is he? Never mind about that. We'll take you to him. Really? And what am I to operate with? A knife and fork? We have all the instruments. All we need is you. I understood that you, humane Americans, didn't take medical people as uh, prisoners of war. Listen, you don't you give me any of your garbage when they're taking you as a prisoner. We're borrowing you as a doctor. Are you kidding? He's an Nazi. What'd you get this for, a doctor? Bravery. Are you ready, doctor? Do I have any choice? No. Then why'd you ask? Cage. All right, doctor, move. He's very weak. Has there been any change in his pulse rate? It's been better in the last hour. He came to about 20 minutes ago, talked to us. But it didn't make any sense. He was delirious. Well, I don't think so. He, he seemed to understand. He understood that we were trying to help him. Uh, uh, what did he say? He just said it. It was very important. Never mind what he said. Just get on with it. What do you want me to do? Fix him up so we can move him. He needs to be operated on. Look, we know that, so why don't you get on with it? I'm not a surgeon. Well, what do you do for wounded Germans? You take their temperatures? In an emergency, one does what he can. This is an emergency. This man is in no immediate danger as long as he's not moved. Operate, doctor. Sergeant? Sergeant? Yes, Temple. Sergeant, did Crown get back all right? Oh, yes, he's fine, just... just fine. Lieutenant, maybe this doctor ought to take another look at Temple. Yes, what about this man? He's one of your own soldiers. Aren't you concerned about him? I don't think there's anything you can do, sir. Oh, are you a doctor? No, sir. All right. See what you can do for the soldier. He's lost a lot of blood. Do you have any plasma? No, doctor. You should have a transfusion. Get me your doctor's equipment. Who are you? He's a doctor. He's gonna fix you up, Temple. I thought I was still in church. Why did you move me to the hospital? I don't remember that. What did the Frenchman say just now? Same as he said before, about the intelligence officers. And how important it is for him to get to them. Why? Do you think he knows what the Frenchman said? He's a doctor. He speaks English. Maybe he also speaks French. Let's test him. Comment est-il, docteur? Est-ce que c'est grave? Très. Je vais lui donner une transfusion. 
Why do you speak to me in French? Do you understand French? I said you understand French? Yes. Why did you pretend you didn't? I didn't pretend anything. When that Frenchman was mumbling before, you asked what he said, didn't you? Yes. Yes, I didn't hear him. I don't believe him. This man needs a block transfusion now. Do we do it or do we, do we discuss languages? He's typo. So am I. Let me, sir. I'm typo. All right, Crown. Well, let's get on with it, doctor. All right. Put him in one of those stretches with it. I think he's a German soldier. If he helps us, it's because he's being forced. Well, I see we bandage your man up tight and try and take him back the way he is. He never lasts ten minutes. First, Joel would kill him. I saw what a bad operation. He can kill him a dozen ways and still say it's an accident. He is a doctor. We've got to have faith in that. He's trying to help Temple, isn't he? Or stalling. Temple's out of the war one way or another, Lieutenant. So? So the Frenchman has information that can mean a lot of German casualties. We don't know he knows about the Frenchman. We don't know he doesn't. What would you do in his place, Lieutenant? I'm a soldier, not a doctor. Well, what choice have we got? That's just it, Lieutenant. None. This will help him for a while, but I don't think he will live. It's not likely. Shall we get to the Frenchman now? Who will stay with him? Our medic can take care of it. If I operate, he will have to assist me. One of the sisters is a nurse. Cage. Get her. There's not enough flight to operate in here. We should wait until the morning. You tell the nurse what to do. We'll get enough light. Saunders, get Kirby and Little John in here. Round up all the candles, lanterns, every source of light you can. on the altar. Get him. But Sarge, you can't. We need him, Cage. Are you ready, doctor? I do not recommend this. It's against my judgment as a doctor. I'll take responsibility for the decisions. You operate. Are you forcing me? This man needs help. We're going to help him, that's all. The uh, lieutenant has certain rules and regulations to go by. He's an officer responsible to a lot of people for a lot of people. He has to be careful about the way he words certain things. But I don't have that problem. You understand what I'm saying to you? No. Well, if this operation is unsuccessful, if this man dies, I'll kill you. Nurse? Is your threat to my life supposed to make me a more skillful doctor? In wartime, one's concern for one's own life diminishes by the hour. Your threat is an idle one. 
Now listen, you don't you lecture me about the war in life. I've seen enough of your examples ever since I've been over here. Like that kid Temple dying. So just don't lecture me. You operate. I need someone to check the blood pressure. Would you like to help? I'll do it. Put on a mask over there. Please. blood pressure. Mock me.
Blood pressure's going up. He's under control. He'll be all right now. How soon before we can move him? Three. Maybe four hours. Suit you. Lieutenant? Temple's dead. Thank you, Doctor. Sergeant? Tell me something. If the Frenchman hadn't had military information that you considered valuable, would you have gone through this much trouble to save his life? There's a war going on. I don't like it, but I do what I have to do. Like you. Now, you tell me something. If I didn't put a gun up to your head, would you have operated? Doctor.